How's it guys? This is Davey FPL and welcome back to the Fantasy Premier League video here on my channel. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the blank Game Week 28 preview. We're going to be going over everything blank Game Week 28 related including captaincy and potential players to transfer out. We're also going to be going over some important reminders about upcoming double Game Weeks so just stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Link down below if you do want to use my download link to download this wonderful app. Thanks again for sponsoring the video. If you don't know, OneFootball is the everything football related app. It's free to download on iOS or Android and you can see there on the table. I'm following the Premier League right now. Gives me all the goals, assists and whatever I need to know as well as following my favorite team if I do want to follow a team which is for me Liverpool but for you it could be anyone else. Also if you want to track more leagues than just the Premier League go and check out this app. As I said link down below. So a reminder that this is a Friday deadline. We haven't had one of those in a while so I thought I would just give you guys a reminder. I will hopefully be doing a deadline with Davy stream so if you have YouTube notifications on you won't have to worry about a reminder you'll simply just get a notification it might not be exactly an hour before the deadline uh, probably going to be a little bit before just depending on my scheduling so at least you'll get a reminder though and you will be prepared for that Friday deadline there is also Champions League happening this midweek it's a little bit easier because of the blank game week and Man City not playing so we don't have to worry too much about that Man City lineup and those players minutes uh, Chelsea also play and then Wolves on Thursday in the Europa League so Wolves probably the most important team uh, to take note of as there was a little bit of rotation with Traore in game week 27 but that's enough of the reminders let's get to the video so keep your transfers till as late as possible this is what Ben Krellen communicated over on Twitter. So if you don't know Ben Krellen, we spoke about him in previous videos, especially our chip strategies. He's kind of the wizard on double and blank game weeks. And he's given us a notification that there could potentially be an announcement from the Premier League before the game week 28 deadline. So on that Friday night, maybe a couple of hours before, we could know if Man City are going to be having a double game week. I'm reminding you about this because obviously Man City do blank. So maybe you're looking at transferring out Aguero or De Bruyne and I think this news will be critical on your transfer so just keep it as late as possible I will communicate if I do have news over on my Twitter at DaveFPL otherwise we'll cover it in the deadline with Davey stream on Friday afternoon slash night so the watch list has been updated since the injury to Hyungman Son so unfortunately he's had to withdraw from the Davey FPL watch list and he's been replaced by the Portuguese international Bruno Fernandes so a player that I had on my radar but I was kind of a little bit scared skeptical about him I said that we should be patient with him as I wasn't exactly knowledgeable about how he was going to fit into that Man United system and the fact that Man United weren't playing that well at the time of his signing they have picked up that form quite recently and they do look like they're playing a lot better and the thing I like about Bruno Fernandes is absolutely involved in everything set pieces he's now on penalties which is a massive boost to him at only 8.1 million kind of reminds me of Pogba last season it came in around that 8.5 million mark and he was absolutely involved in everything assists goals and set pieces and that looks like Bruno Fernandez to the T so a player that I'm on my radar unfortunately I don't think he's going to be a high priority on my watch list but I definitely am looking over him the next entry is also a new entry it's going to be Diego Yota uh, a little bit of a variation from Raul Jimenez I know I just put him in this lineup as we've had Raul Jimenez for a lot of the watch lists on these game week previews so decided to spice it up a bit here with Diego Yota comes in at 6.1 million I know it kind of is a little bit of a knee jerk because of his performance against Norwich uh, but he scored two goals and I think one assist which is really nice and uh, it's taken his tally up quite a bit so not really a good indication of his goals and assists as he's played quite a lot of minutes but I do think he's kind of found a little bit of form and if you want to take a real punt on Wolves with their nicer fixtures coming up then I do think Diego Yota could be your man and then finally Harvey Barnes uh, I had him on the last week's preview probably going to be my transfer in we'll be talking about him a little bit later on uh, I was a little bit worried to see him not starting against Man City but he came on at half time uh, looks quite bright and lively uh, so I'm hoping that he can kind of get his place in that starting 11 back and hopefully Brennan Rodgers was just playing a more conservative style against Man City and against these easier teams he's going to be starting Harvey Barnes and just letting him go ham in that attack but at six million seven assists and four goals is quite respectable and I'm just hoping that he can produce some FPL points in the upcoming 
upcoming game weeks. So game week 28, here are the fixtures. We spoke about those blanks and they're going to be coming. Fortunately, only two blanks. If you didn't watch the ultimate guide to blank game week 28, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's quite a general overview of blank game week 28. In this video, we're going to be going into more specifics in terms of captaincy and players to transfer out as those are quite hard to predict a couple of weeks before the game week. So those are going to be in this video, but if you want a more general overview and maybe teams to target for this blank gaming 28 go check that out link down below but if you don't know the blanking teams maybe you're stuck in your own world and haven't been looking at the fixtures these are the teams that are blanking aston villa sheffield united manchester city and arsenal this is because of the league cup final aston villa are taking on man city so their respective fixtures are going to be cancelled so i think the big hitters are probably going to be from manchester city and arsenal the likes of de bruyne aguero and obama yang uh, but a lot of us own sheffield united defenders as well so that could be a quite a hole in our defense along with jack Grealish from aston villa but are we talking about kind of the players to maybe focus on and to transfer out so the first talking point and one that I saw over on Twitter uh, in game week 27 was is Sheffield United defense essential? The reason being they haven't been keeping many clean sheets. I know that's quite a narrow minded FPL approach. I think in the last two games they haven't kept a clean sheet but in previous game weeks they've been absolutely stellar. So that's why I said a little bit narrow minded there. Uh, I think FPL managers tend to only look at the recent fixtures and not look at the season as a whole but they do have a blank in game week 28 which is why people were talking about them being essential because a lot of people are doubled up or even tripled up on the Sheffield United defense and they're struggling to get a starting 11 for blank game week 28 so a lot of people want to transfer these players out and uh, as a personal owner I only own one of them O'Connell uh, from Sheffield United I'm going to be keeping him I'm perfectly happy with benching him for game week 28 as against Norwich a little bit of a tougher fixture, but Norwich have been absolutely dire recently. And I do think because of the home fixture for Sheffield United, they can keep a clean sheet there. And in the next fixture against Newcastle, another atrocious team going forward. And I do think that's almost a guaranteed clean sheet against Newcastle. So I'm hoping for good returns over these next two. And then I think against Manchester United, uh, they have done well against the top six historically this season. So I do think they can put up a fight against Manchester United and Spurs. The game week 31 could be a potential blank. Uh, depending on if Manchester United progress so just keep your eyes on that one but I think you should be looking to hold for gaming 29 and 30. I even think it's a viable strategy to just play Henderson for blank game week 28. I mean he's going to be getting zero points but I don't think there's going to be many keepers in game week 28 that actually do get returned so it might be worth just holding that transfer and keeping Henderson for the rest of the season. So I don't think Sheffield United defense is essential. I don't think I'd be looking at bringing them in but I also don't think I'd be looking at taking them out. I just think they're really nice to own. If you bought them in for quite cheap I don't think there's any reason to transfer them out. The next Next question is what to do with Jack Grealish. This is quite a personal question as I have had Jack Grealish for quite a while and I am potentially looking at transferring him out. So seven goals, seven assists, played basically every single minute. He's that main talisman for Aston Villa, a definitely one of the best players in the Premier League at the moment and that's why it makes it a little bit hard to get rid of him because of just how good of a footballer he is. But unfortunately with those upcoming fixtures and just because of how bad Aston Villa have been, I'm really worried about Jack Grealish. I think teams are going to target him, put two or three men on him to constantly man mark him and I think that could be a shout out for Aston Villa and as I said tough fixtures coming up and with that blank I think it's too hard not to transfer out Jack Grealish. Going to be a little bit of an emotional one but for my own team I think that that's going to be a nice transfer to do uh, and to free up some funds in the midfield. Now if you can afford to keep Jack Grealish I don't think it's a particularly bad move to do. Uh, as I said main talisman for Aston Villa so if they do score he's probably going to be on the receiving end of an assist or a goal uh, but you just have to kind of look at these fixtures and think if Aston Villa are actually going to score. I mean Leicester away tough fixture Chelsea at home probably not the worst one a uh, Chelsea sometimes a little bit hit or miss but then Newcastle and Wolves who have been defensively assured quite recently and then Liverpool away probably the toughest fixture in the Premier League at the moment. So unfortunately it's going to be a good buy for Jack Grealish from my FPL squad but you could be keeping him. This is just the reiteration of Jack Grealish and kind of an indication of how well he's actually been doing. So this is to do with the Fantasy Football Hub a kind of comparison tool here. So if you look on the state of big chances created and key passes, he's probably one of the best in the Premier League at the moment. But unfortunately, he's not getting that many big chances 
and shots on target. So I've compared him to Harvey Barnes. I said we'll talk about Harvey Barnes a little bit more on. He's probably going to be my transfer in if I do take Jack Grealish out. And I think that he has been performing quite well. Leicester have had some tough fixtures recently. And so I think against the easier teams, if he keeps up these stats, he's going to be looking at some FPL points. That's so coming a little bit cheaper than Jack Grealish. So you also have that kind of incentive to go for him. Uh, but I do think that Harvey Barnes hopefully will pick up his big chances created and key passes, although he is a winger. Uh, so I think Jack Grealish will always have that kind of edge on him. Uh, but I do think that Harvey Barnes is probably going to be coming in for Jack Grealish prior to blank game week 28. So in terms of captaincy, our last talking point, if we had the home captains for previous game week 27, we have the away captains for blank game week 28. I have Mo Salah here, Danny Ings and Jamie Vardy. So Mo Salah against Watford, 100% will be the highest captained uh, player in blank game week 28 again. So the safe option, just go for the Liverpool midfielder. He's probably going to be getting a goal, loves playing against Watford. His record against Watford is absolutely stellar. So I do think he's going to be the, the safest and highest captained of blank gaming 28 a little bit more of a punt is danny ings i'm pretty sure a lot of people if you were going to captain danny ings probably did it in game week 27 a little bit disappointed in that one because he blanked but against west ham i do think that he can score in this one and uh, also a nice safe option to go for then Jamie Vardy, probably the out there pick. So now there's going to be a couple of people saying, why is Jamie Vardy in your top three captains? I think that's probably down to the fact that Blank Game Week 28 has a reduced amount of fixtures. So uh, strategically, a less amount of captains. So that's why Jamie Vardy comes in here. But as an out there differential, has not been performing well. And I don't think many people are going to be captaining him. But he is playing Norwich, a side that has not defended well this entire season. So I'm backing and kind of hoping that Jamie Vardy does get on the end of a goal in this one and I'll be kind of happy as my patience will finally have paid off but I don't think you can go wrong with any three of these but I do think that Mo Salah is going to be the safe pick to go for. So that's going to wrap up the video guys hopefully you did enjoy it please like it if you did and make sure to follow me on Twitter at DaveVFPL and subscribe if you're new or have not subscribed yet. I'll be seeing you guys for the game week 28 team selection later on in the week but otherwise good luck with your transfers and as I said try and keep them till as late as possible. I'm Davey FPL and I'm going to be signing off. Cheers. Bye.